what is happening guys Martin Martinez back again you know what we are so let's get into it so guys it's hot pretty much in summertime now and yes the sun is I think in the UK now at least where I am it's about 30 odd degrees or so give or take and yes first thoughts on this one I've had it for actually for a few days this is the box that came in Dolce & Gabbana K Dolce & Gabbana K or King or whatever it may be and here you can see the bottle and again cap is slightly different now same same as previously but the cap is like like a silver and the older original edt version was a gold which came out i've had this one probably for about a year and i was in poland when i checked this one out so it's an okay fragrance I had it for a year but at the same time it left me wanting more it was an okay fragrance but i didn't feel it had any real strength to, strength to it any depth to it and yeah still got some juice in there probably wouldn't buy it again however whoops Without further ado, we go into it with this one, and this is the um, 2020 edition of the EDP or the Parfum. Um, and realistically, guys, as I say, I could do a first impressions, but it's not really first impressions anymore because I've had this for a few days, as I say, and I've given an opportunity to wear it in the high heat, guys. Uh, key notes in this one seems to be that of like a sort of like a how could I say a fig note. It opens with this like sp spicy fig, uh, borderline like um like um. If you can imagine like a Sicilian sort of like a lemon or even grapefruit as well. Um, just looking at the note breakdown in the base as well. It has some woods, cedar wood, some lavender. And again, it's, it's all about this fig note, guys. Um, for me, guys, this is a good fragrance. Um, I know some of the fragrances that have come out from Dolce Gabbana recently have been a little bit off. Um, you know, the um, the one, the most recent one, I think it's the um, Eau de Parfum as well. That's, that's just terrible. Smells like um, Jack Daniels whiskey. It's not particularly good, I don't think, or bourbon, whatever it may is, whatever it may be. But this one, guys, compared to the original, and again, I will do a proper more in-depth um, video, but for me, guys, this is an ideal gym scent. One is one to the gym, easily getting about, you know, even five to six hours, probably even more than that in the high heat. I mean, I was wearing this probably only like a few sprays in the morning. Heat was so high, probably took about eight hours easy. Um... It's not a fossil fragrance. This is definitely not one I would really recommend for the winter time. It might be able to perform, but in all honesty, guys, I think that this is a richer version of the original. It does smell similar to the original, as I say. It is a flanker to some extent, but I think this is what the original should have smelled like. This, to me, I'm not a fan of the actual cap. It seems a little bit childish to me, but it is what it is. Um, but to me, guys, this is what the original should have actually been. Um, it just seems to be a shame that we have to wait so long for it to be released. But nonetheless, um, it lasts longer. It's richer. As I say, this sort of fig note with this slightly sort of peppery, spicy. I don't know if it's like a pimento or if it's like even a chili note. Let's see what they've got on Fragratica. It's saying that in there that they've got pimento. Yes, it's like a pimento as well. It's nice, spicy opening fig note as well. So it reminds me of um, even, um, oh, how could I say? Not not gourmand, but you're getting a little bit touch of this type of sweetness as well going on. And for me, guys, it's just a very pleasant fragrance. You can see how much juice you get. That tomato is really good. Spicy, lavender, fresh lemon, um, cardamom in there. Nice fragrance. If you're not a fan of this one, give this one at least a go. Just to see what you think of it. If you're not a fan of this one, and I mean, it is similar, but this one's a little bit too faint. It's a little bit too light. It's a little bit weak. I think it's a little bit borderline even unisex. This one seems to be slightly more masculine. Um, it's not heavy in respect of the woodsy notes as such, but it seems to last when it comes to this sort of longevity from... For me, I think it's more the, the lavender note in there, which is really nice. And again, you got this sort of like spicy pimento note as well. And I'm really enjoying this fragrance, guys. So... First impressions, I would recommend to go and give this one a uh, a try, a sniff. It's a very nice fragrance. I have had compliments wearing this one, but again, I hardly worn it because it wasn't one of the fragrances I liked. And to be honest, I had this over for a year now. You can see how much juice I say as having it left. 50 mil, I'm not going to buy this one again. This one I managed to get for about 50 pounds as well, and it's a 50 mil. So I didn't really spend that much in all honesty for what it is. And I think it's a good fragrance. Will I buy another one? We don't know. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully at some point I'm going to get some compliments and some ladies compliments as well. And I will do a review on that. But as it stands though, guys, this is not a bad pickup. So go and check this one out and let me know what your thoughts are. Have you tried this one out before or have you tried the original one? Let me know down below, guys. And hopefully, you know, we'll see where it goes with these summer fragrances. Finally, there's some more fragrances. People are moving around a little bit now, so we can at least get some ladies' reactions. But at the same time, 
Who knows what's going to happen? Each country is doing it different in respect of lockdown. But ultimately, those guys, it is so warm here. I need to go and just do my thing. But let me know down below, guys. If this has saved some time, some money, please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, if you want to make a PayPal donation, information is down below. It does help. And again, guys, if you give us a thumbs up, it helps with the algorithm. Again, the channel is growing, so I do appreciate you. Leave a comment down below, guys, and let me know what you think. Have you tried this one out before? What's your gym scent? For me, this is a gym scent. This is a casual sort of, again, I'm in Italy or whatever it may be, or in Croatia. This is one of those fragrances that it reminds me of. I've, I've got a beach near to me. I can smell it. It's pumping off, but it's a pleasant, lemony type of smell. Nice, fig, fresh. It just reminds me of Italy for some reason. I don't know why, but it's, they've done a good job with this one, guys. So let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you on the next video. I know what it reminds me of now. Aqua de Palma. There's a fig note in one of them, like a like a in the blue bottle. They'll come back to me. See you soon. Ciao.